Hello and welcome to this next tutorial on the use of Octave. This tutorial concerns use of if, else, and else if statements. Um, this tutorial is designed for Octave version 7.3, but since these sorts of conditional statements are fairly generic, it should still apply to your version of Octave, more or less. So the first thing is that this if statement is going to be useful whenever um, we want the script or the program to do something if in fact uh, a condition is met. So an easy way to do that is, for example, if I create a variable and I'll just set it uh, a is equal to three, for example. So I'm going to write a simple if statement that if a is in fact going to be greater than three, then it's going to display um, a is greater than three, like so, and then and that's my uh, if statement. So you'll notice that nothing happened there, and that's because uh, a is in fact not greater than three, and so there's nothing there which um, is going to be displayed or done if a is not greater than three. So that's where the power of the else statement comes in. So if I were to write um, that differently again. So if A is greater than three, so I started off again, then I write display um, A is greater than three again. Then I have this other statement else. Now this else comes up, that's in any case where the can, first condition is not met. So the if condition. So A is not greater than three. And then I write end to end my if statement. And there you go, you see A is not greater than three is printed out to me. That is the if else statement uh, form. Now I can create a third version of that and that is going to be the else if. So this is um, else if is something which can be done multiple times if and else uh, are once only, but else if can be done uh, multiple times within a sort of um, a series of nested conditionals. So if, so let's start that again. So um, I'll just clear this. So it's a bit clearer to see. So CLC, um, okay, so if uh, A is greater than three, then I'm going to print A is greater than three, then I'm going to do else if um, display A is equal to three. Uh, I'm sorry, if, oh yeah, let's cancel that, let's get that. Um, oh, wait, that's no problem. So um, I forgot to give a condition for my else if. So start off with a is equal to three, then display a is greater than three, then my else if. Um, it needs a condition. So if a is going to be exactly equal to three, then it's going to display a is equal to three. Um, and then else is going to be uh, a is not greater than three, so a is equal to three. Okay. So earlier on, whenever the um, we just had the elf if else statement, what we saw was that uh, the else statement a is not greater than three was printed. That is still technically true in this if um, else else if uh, construction conditional here. Um, you know, A is in fact not greater than three because uh, it is equal to three. Um, but because this else if statement here, this A is exactly equal to three is satisfied, we never actually get to this else statement. And so we just have the display A is equal to three. And so A is equal to three here is what is printed out. Okay. Um, so then we can write this also up in our editor uh, if we go across. Um, I'll just create a new one here. Um, so the first one was if a, so okay, let's create a is equal to three. Then we had our first statement, which is just the if else um, statement or conditional. Um, so if uh, a is going to be greater than three, then display a is greater than three, okay. And then we had um, else display 
a is not greater than three. Okay. Um, and then end that. All right. So then the next one would be um, our if else. So let's just copy that for now. Okay, if else, if else, okay. Um, so we're gonna add an additional line here, which is the else if. So this is where A is exactly equal to three. Um, then I can have um, A is equal to three. Okay, this one there. And then okay, so this is it written out in um an editor um like this. So we have our a is equal to three. So let's try and run that. Um I'll just save it in my uh just go to our octave scripts. Okay, so let's save that as if else, if else, okay. So let's run that. And then hopefully we're in our command editor. So A is equal to three, sure. Um, A is not e greater than three, that's correct. That will be for the first one for the if else. And then A is equal to three, that's for the if else, if and else conditional uh, statements. Okay, so that's just really a, a very brief run through of if else, if and else conditional statements. Um, I hope this was useful to you. Uh, check out uh, the other tutorials on the channel for Octave, uh, for other chemistry and different science instructional videos. And um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.